This video is to provide a tutorial with help with some of the features in creating the structural angle for activity 5.2b and we're going to be referencing some of the dimensions provided on the activity sheet to us from here. So as I go to look to create this part I need to create an L shape. So when I click on the line tool I'll start at the origin to constrain to and then go through and draw in an L shape utilizing the lines. So making sure that I make connections to each one, watching for the green dots and everything like that. I'll play, I place dimensions, 1.5 height overall, a 0.5 wide dimension on the top, and then in order to go through and ensure that I get the same uh, dimensions on some of the other pieces that of this part is I'm going to use the equal constraint. I'm going to choose the 1.5 dimension first, choose the bottom line of this part and then with the equal constraint still selected I'm going to choose this uh, 0.5 dimension and I'm going to apply it to the height of this part here. So those equal constraints will go through and make sure that we have the appropriate dimensions applied as it shows in the drawing. So one way to check is you could count the number of grid squares that your part creates and then go through and compare it to what they have here in the picture. So we will go through and extrude, they say to tell it, extrude the sketch to a depth of 1.5 inches. So I'll say finish sketch, extrude to 1.5, and say OK. And it looks like they've gone through and, create, and created a gold color for this part just to kind of make it stand off of the part. So as we go through, they want us to utilize the... Uh, the fillet tool to go through and apply some some fillets. Now here reading on the part they want to go through and uh, there's certain fillets applied to certain areas. So as we take a look they have they describe the difference between what an inside fillet is or anytime we have a round being applied to the inside it's known as a fillet. Anytime it's applied to the outside of a part it's known as a round. So and it says we want to go through fill it and round the edges, select the tool, and it's going to be set to be 0.25. So it looks like in this part we're going to choose fill it, 0.25, and the parts we're going to select are here, here, and here. And then I can go through and hit, hit apply, and then I can close this dialog box to show what that looks like. So the resulting feature looks like this, so it's when they show you the picture. However, as we go on through, now they want us to go through and look at changing, making some changes to the part as we look at it, some different treatments. So now they're taking a look at maybe we want to go through and chamfer the edges of the outside parts where we rounded them, but it looks like keeping a, an inside fillet here at the bottom part of this on the inside here. So as we take a look, they do say now we're going to go through and in order, in order to... Um, you know, change some of these things. We could go through and hit undo, but if you look over here in the browser bar, we're going to right click on the fillet and say edit feature to bring the menu back up. I can hold control and select the lines. So control on my keyboard, hold it down, leave this alone, and then go through and highlight those to un undo the uh, fillets to those options. Click OK. And I still have my rounded edge on the inside but it goes through and deselects and take those off. So as per the uh, activity here, they say we're going to go through and use the chamfer tool to go through and to create on the top outside edge a 45 degree chamfer with a distance of 0.125 inches. So I'm going to choose the chamfer option. So here it looks like well, I want the option, the second option here, option here to where I have a distance and angle. So they say we want 0.125 for this particular part and at, at, for 445 degrees that's kind of our default so we don't have to worry about changing any settings there but I will choose the top I will have to choose the face first so I'll have to choose the front face and then the edge you'll notice I'll have to click on this edge in order to go through and to make that apply I'll click apply that chamfer is applied there as such and then we'll have to look at also placing in two different distances uh, one to be at 0.25 and the other to be at 0.375. So within my menu, 
and inventor. I will go through and use the two distances option. So as I take a look, so this would be the third one here, as we click through to see what different options we have. So they say we're going to have 0.25 vertically and 0.375 horizontally. So I'm going to go through and apply those just how we have 0.25 and then 0.375. So same thing shows up as they have on the activity document. So we're going to go through and apply it to our edge and you'll see that we'll have the same edge as we look here. Distance 1 being the vertical component and distance 2 being the horizontal. I'll click apply. I can hit cancel to close out of the menu. There's our chamfers applied and now they say we want to go through and and modify the radius on the on the interior uh, round or the fillet that was done. Go over here to the browser bar. I can right click and say edit feature. I will then go through and the, since this is the only fillet that's on there it will select this one for us and I will change that radius to a 0.125 radius. You'll see that being applied once I'm satisfied with the measurement. I'll hit OK and then they tell us to go through and to save the part. So this concludes the tutorial on applying chamfers and fillets to the structural angle.